Today we're in Hambridge, which is in the Somerset Levels area. And as you can see, we're at Teapot Creative, which is a digital agency. So wherever you go in Somerset, whatever town you're in, it's quite likely you'll find a digital marketing agency in your area. So we're gonna go inside now and talk to Barry, who'll tell us a bit more about what they do here and the sort of jobs that are available in a creative company. Teapot Creative are a, an integrated agency. Um, that means that we offer a number of services under one roof. Um, we are a branding and graphic design agency. We are also a web agency and a digital marketing agency. All uh, of our staff are here. We don't outsource or anything like that. And we're based in the deepest, darkest depths of South Somerset. Our client base is very, very varied. Um, we range um, for working on um, anything from the private to public sector. Uh, so it could be schools and colleges through to uh, IT companies or solicitors. Um, it could be visitor attractions, uh, a wide, huge range of um, different things. And because we have such a, a, um, a range of services, uh, there is always a, some sort of different uh, job coming in, which is which is always exciting. We're, we also get very excited for uh, new businesses, new ideas uh, that come along, startup businesses. Our enthusiasm is is for the longer term, so we we love to build relationships with clients and um, work with them to improve their business and create change in their business. There is all sorts of roles. So uh, we have roles that range from management. So uh, things like uh, uh, account handlers and uh, studio manager, um, progress chasers. Obviously we have an accountant uh, here as well. Um, and then within the, uh, the teams themselves, there is a, a full development team. So um, that's uh, guys who are uh, developing websites and developing s and, and software engineering and their roles range from um, a, an apprentice right the way up to um, a web uh, dev team manager um, uh, within the uh, design um, teams we have a, a head of creative and then we have um, middleweight and junior graphic designers um, and then uh, beyond that we have our digital marketing team which uh, comprises of a, a, a head of our digital marketing and then um, the uh, junior or, or, or rather the marketing executives. So our uh, digital uh, marketing team do various jobs. Um, so uh, that includes um, organic um, SEO, uh, also in includes um, Google AdWords, so pay-per-click campaigns. Um, it includes uh, some e-marketing. E we're MailChimp partners. Um, so, uh, yeah, they're very well versed in MailChimp. So, uh, yeah, a lot of data-driven uh, work, a lot of data-driven analysis, and then implementation of, of and strategizing uh, that work from, from then on. So digital skills vary. Um, so in terms of the, the web team, um, we have uh, a, a variety of roles. So uh, developers that will develop using platforms themselves. So themes and plugins uh, and uh, things that are readily available and build up a site from that. Uh, they will also build up designs uh, from our, our design team. So custom built. Uh, solutions. Uh, and then we also have uh, front-end and back-end skills. So front-end of the website is what the customer is customer facing, back-end is what um, you know what you use to uh, work the site if you like, uh, update information. Uh, if it's an e-commerce site you can run your whole e-commerce store with the back-end of the site. Um, and the, the, the very, there are varying coding skills required around there, so JavaScript, HTML, CSS, through to uh, PHP, Symfony, um, um, uh, React, Node, 100, 101 different <laughs> coding skills. The creative sky, uh, side is, um, well, we've, uh, I suppose there's a couple of parts to it. So obviously you, you have to be creative, uh, but we do have uh, a digital designer 
um, and we also have graphic designers. So graphic designers do your traditional um, work, so your print uh, ready uh, work. Uh, they're also a little bit uh, involved in, in other digital um, artwork creation for social media, etc. Our digital designer basically uh, is very um, orientated towards developing websites, so um, developing the front end user experience, user interfaces. Uh, and things like that. that. That's very important. She's very specific. Her role is very specific. And then uh, we have a head of creative who oversees all of the creative of the company and then helps develop also our, our brand itself and, and other brands you know, that we work for. General uh, politeness, uh, the ability to um, hold conversation, ability to write quite well we do send an awful lot of communications uh, with clients we, we you know that is a big part of our business and and so we actually produce content um, for people and work with other people and partners and things like that so it is very important to be able to communicate uh, really well um, uh, that being said that you know there are there are um, those that uh, come here and, and are quieter and that, you know we don't all push um, so we have a, a variety of um, um, personnel in terms of personality but but yeah it, 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 good communication skills I think is the, is the key yeah so today we've been putting a new website live for a client of ours called new venture products uh, this is the new site they've had their old site for about six or seven years. Uh, it was time to upgrade it, make it look, look a little nicer, refresh it, modernize it, uh, and speed things up. Um, so that has been in development for the last sort of five or six months. We've been building that uh, while he's using the old site. Uh, and as of today, it's it's gone live with the new site. So that's been the majority of our day today, making sure it communicates with its payment gateways and everything uh, nice and quickly and everything works. We have a design team who initially put uh, put together um, an outline of how the new site should look. Uh, then that, once it gets signed off by the client, it gets handed over to the development team. Uh, and then we go ahead and we start building the site uh, and writing code to get the site um, working as it should do. Uh, and then the process of going live is really a case of switching the old site on, off, bringing the new site on and uh, making sure everything works as it should and fixing anything when it doesn't. Behind the scenes, uh, code typically looks sort of a bit like this. Um, so I use uh, something called Visual Code uh, as my uh, IDE development environment. Uh, and this is some PHP code here. This powers a blog 